today I'm showing you how to use Clownfish Voice Changer on Discord or any other computer program. If you're new to the True to a Tucker channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And then go and leave a like as well. So in today's video, I'm showing you the full process of using Clownfish Voice Changer. It's a really simple tutorial. I really do hope you find this video useful and that it helps you set up Clownfish. And without any further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay everybody, so as you can see, I'm now on my computer and let's jump straight into this tutorial. So first thing you want to do is simply open up a browser of your choice and then I'll be showing you how to go and get Clownfish Voice Changer. It's a super easy tutorial like I already said, so let's go and open up a browser. As you can see, I'm now on Google. So the first thing you simply want to do is simply search for Clownfish. Now keep watching as I'm showing you the full setup process as well as all the best settings to be using. So as you can see, Clownfish Voice Changer, it does say Clownfish for Skype, but don't worry, just click there and it's now taking you to the website. Now as you can see here, it gives you some information about it. Uh, you can use it for Discord, um, Skype, and you know, basically it changed the whole input for your computer. Um, so yeah, it's pretty useful. So anyway, the next step is all you want to do is come up to this sort of top um, navigation bar on the Clownfish website and click download. And now we're on the download page. As you can see, the current version is 1.41. So then you want to go and select the download which suits you best. So for example, I have a 64 bit computer, so I'm going to go and click here. But if you've got a 32 bit, come here. Anyway, that's the sort of the main sort of alternative downloads, but obviously I want the 64 bit, so I'm going to go for that. So click there. And then it's going to start downloading. Hopefully, as you can see, it actually says one already there because I've already downloaded it before. So all you then want to do is click on it. Now it's going to do a window security pop up, which blocks my screen. Basically, now I'm going to go and run through the installer. Now, at some point with this installer, it actually changes your sound system. So any sound currently running your computer will be stopped. So I may have to pause the recording um, temporarily, but I'll see what actually happens. So what you want to do is click next. Um, and then you want to go and choose your sort of um, your components and uh, I'll go for both of those and then click next and then you go and choose where you'd like to install it. I'll click next and now it's installing. So then all you want to do is click install. Now it's probably going to possibly stop your sound just for literally a second while it installs. So I'll quickly pause my recording and catch up to you on a minute. So I'll put a few clips of what it actually looked like on my screen right now, but it literally just runs through and a terminal pop up, but let's do its own thing. Anyway, now you want to go and click next and then go and click finish. Now it's all installed and we're ready to go and test this out. So to open it up, all you want to do is come down to your search bar down here and simply search for clownfish. As you can see, it then appears here. Now, the first thing you want to do when you first go and open Clownfish is that it's going to appear down in the sidebar. So I've had to move my recording along, but as you can see right down here, so once you've opened up Clownfish, there'll be no application actually open up on your screen. To find it, what we want to do is come down to the hidden icon logo down here. I had to move my screen recording because I don't record all of my screen. And then look for the Clownfish logo, which is this one down here. And it says Clownfish Voice Changer. Right click on it, go to Set Voice Changer. Then I'm going to drag this in and I'm just going to clear the effect and it's now inactive. Anyways, you want to open up it again, right click on it and then go to setup and go to system integration. Then it's going to open up this setup um, icon here and you get all these options here. Now make sure you've got the right microphone selected. Otherwise, um, it's going to use the wrong microphone and it may not pick up as you'd like it to. So make sure you've got your microphone selected. Anyways, then to go and enable it once you've got the right microphone selected, all you want to do is double click on helium pitch. As you can hear, it's now gone into effect. And uh, yeah, that's the helium effect. So I'm going to clear that by clicking clear effect. And my voice is back to normal. You're probably wondering, um, is there any fixes for this and making sure it works in Discord? So to do that, what I'm going to do is open up Discord. Now, once you're in Discord, all you want to do is click on user settings. And it's going to load this up now. And then all you want to do is go to voice and video. And then you've got all of these options here. Now you've got to make sure you're using the same microphone as you selected in the setup of Clownfish. Otherwise, it's not going to work and the effect won't work. And then if you want to test yourself what you actually sound like, I recommend a program called Audacity. It's basically a recording program. I'm using it right now. And you can simply record by pressing the red button, applying the effect you like, then pressing stop. And then you can simply play it back um, and you can uh, check what this effect actually sounds like. And yeah, you've got all of these options here. So I hope you have a very awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.